not you have any. So we have the exchanges. There are several exchanges that there is debt token on. If you would like to buy debt token directly, you can buy it from L Bank. You can buy it from BitMart. Um, I'm trying to remember the other ones off time. And I Coin CoinGecko's a, 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 a aggregator. That's not that's not a that's not a um, what do you call it? It's not an exchange. I think there's a third one. Those those are the ones that I know, guys. So the L Bank and the and the um, BitMart. And then I know there are others that are coming online soon. Of course, we're hoping and waiting and, and you know, as for Binance to become available, hopefully in the near future. And that will make things even easier because obviously that's the largest in the world. So that's what we're looking for with that there. But then we also can get debt coin internally. If you obviously, if you're mining debt coin, if you were able to get a debt, a debt license, you have that. But if you don't have a debt license and you do have other coin, do you, did you are you going to be able to show that Bob how how that works the yeah I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and try to try to show that so um, okay. let me uh, it just blanks out my um, it blanks out my uh, my whole screen so let's see um, if I can get that if I can uh, did you give me the ability to show oh yeah share my screen here so let me let me do that real quick and see if I can get this to work you guys can tell me if this actually is working for you in a second. It's not letting me share my screen here. Sorry guys, try to get all this tech to work all at the same time. Oh. Thanks, thanks, Ozzy. Ozzy gave me the list as you're trying to do that, Bob. We got of obviously Pancake Swap, uh, the Dex. You can use that to to get um, debt token with several different coins. We have BitTrue, BitMart, Exmo, L Bank, and Gate.io. So those are the different exchanges. We have uh, five different centralized exchanges and one Dex. Pancake Swap being the Dex that is decentralized exchange, and then so there for as far as acquiring debt token just off the open market if you want to get it from one of those. I say I personally have been using BitMart. That's the one I signed up for. Um, we as Americans have have some limitations. We're not actually able to use all of these different exchanges. Most of you around the world have access to a lot more uh, exchanges than we do. So um, I would encourage you to do that. Make sure you've already got you're getting you can just, you know, acquire some debt token through those or you can do it through the swap functionality um, in your uh your I or your X node app, your debt box X node app. Okay. And that's what uh, Bob, I think he just left. He's going to try to get back in here and we'll see if we can get him showing us so we can, he wants to be able to show you how you do that. Some people have had questions before on that. Like, how do you do the swap? So, okay. We have Bob coming back in there. There we go. Oh, you're now you're beated, muted, Bob. Sorry. It there kicked me out for a second. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and share this screen and try this again. Okay. Saying I'm disabled. Oh, there we go. There, I just, I just, uh, there, there we, we go. go. You, should be, you should be good now. Sorry. Aha, it's working. Yeah. So you're seeing a uh, whole, whole bunch of stuff on there. Yeah. All right, so can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so basically, if you have coin in any of your accounts, we'll make this really, really simple here. You have this button right here that says swap. Hopefully everybody can see that. I would simply click on swap. I would select my coin. We'll just pick one here <clears throat> that I want to swap. If I want to swap it to um debt that's swap to debt i can for sake of anything i'm just going to go ahead and choose an amount i just chose 25 percent. but whatever amount you needed i would go through that process there so select any of the coins i have swap it for debt and then hit approve and it will move that token whatever tokens i have into debt 
of course I could do that with anything, USDT, whatever coins are in my account, I could switch them. But in this case, if you didn't have debt, this is exactly how you would put debt into your account so you would be able to go and purchase um, from there. So, so real quick, it Bob, really is that simple. Go ahead. So, uh, so when you click approve, number one, it's going to bring up your password and your two-factor authentication again. So you need to make sure to put those in to complete the process. So once you've hit approve, it does, it's going to go, you're going to do an I agree. You're going to do, uh, that's the first time you do it. It's going to show this, the I agree. And then it'll bring up your little password and 2FA. You have to put that in and accept that to do the C right there. So until you confirm that, then it's not going to do the swap. And then it'll show a little, a little thing at the top of your screen that says success. You have come until you see that little success banner at the top of your screen, then it won't, uh, you, you haven't finished the process. And the other thing I wanted to note there is that in that um, swap, there is USDT, okay? So when you do that, you can swap your USDT if you've been receiving that for commissions um, from IX Global, or you know, if you want to acquire, a lot of times that seems to be an easier thing to acquire. Also BNB, right. BNB is relatively easier to, easy to acquire. So that if you have any of those tokens, you can swap those directly in there for debt once you put it into your you know, your, your debt box crypto wallet. So, so it's not just the, in the internal tokens from, you know, the debt box project, you can use USDT, you can use the BNB. Right. Those are both easily available also on myriad exchanges. And, and obviously we pay in you, in the USDT uh, commissions at, from IX Global. So, so you can do that as well when you, if you want to make these purchases. Correct. So one of the last things I want to actually talk about is the, we still have lots of people that probably are wondering why their licenses aren't mining. And every day when I, <clears throat> excuse me, look at the back end, I see a hundred or so users that have not added their debt box account yet. So one of, one of two things um, is happening there. One, they simply have not created a debt box account through the process that we showed last week, right? Through the back end, all the way through, or they have not gone and migrated their debt box account that they created outside of the system directly on Xnode at some time. And based on this, your licenses aren't going to start mining until you have your debt box account created or migrated which again, as we showed last week, is a very simple, takes maybe three minutes uh, at the most to do. So if you don't have your licenses, you don't see them in your product section or obviously in your debt account, please go and check and make sure you actually have your debt account associated with IX Global. Otherwise, you're just not going to mind. There's nothing we, we can't help you on that process. We're asking you to to verify that, um, and it's it's a you know a hundred is not a big number based on how many that have it, but there's a hundred people that licenses aren't mining based simply based on they have not finished setting up their debt box account or haven't set up their debt box account. Right. And and so once again on that process, guys, when you've made a purchase of a license and you see it in your Exno dashboard, you're not done yet. You still need to click on that green temp credentials button. And then you're still not done yet. You need to go in, set up your debt box account, get your, you know, you've got your email, you'll set up a password. It's going to ask you to activate your 2FA. There's a whole process, guys. And until you've gone through that entire process in the debt box environment and got to where you've got your screen, where it's showing your rewards and all the different things that are in there, you're not done. So make sure that you're following those through and that you're teaching your new, new members on your team that this, as I say, it's a multi-step process to get fully set up. Fortunately, you only have to do the setup process once. We understand it's a very complicated process. Uh, there are multiple steps throughout this process to do, but it's got to be done. And we, we get a lot of questions about people, like Bob said, say, hey, where are my license? Well, they're there, they're waiting, but you have to completely set up your debt box account. It doesn't happen for you. You have to do that yourself. There's legality that's involved in that. We cannot do it for you. And also for a security and safety, you want to set up your own accounts as well. You don't want anybody setting up your account. You want your mnemonic phrase, your seed phrase. You don't want anyone else to ever see that. You want to set up your 2FA and you don't want anyone else to ever see that. You've got to have that stuff and protect those things yourself, okay? So so that's, do you yes. have any other things on that, Bob? Sorry, go ahead. 
Nope, that's it. Um, that's it from that. I just saw a question that is actually a good question. I wanted to answer really quick because that can be confusing. Um, it was on.